What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Sinclair Photos and today we have a very, very special package from none other than Bugatti, baby. That's right, we bought the world's cheapest Bugatti. Let's open it. As you can see in the box, no it wasn't a Veyron, no it wasn't a Chiron, no it's not a Cento Diece. It's the Bugatti electric scooter, baby, and I'm hyped for it. So I ordered this thing about a week ago, and it finally showed up today. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what the Bugatti scooter is like. I've seen a couple videos about this, and it was actually pretty much an impulse buy. But we have a box inside of a box. Inside of a box! Oh my god, this one's heavy. Ah. There has to be an easier way. There we go, that was much easier. So, as we can see, we have this nice blue box now with a Bugatti sticker. We're saving this bad boy, we're putting it in a very safe place. Because who else has one of these things? Maybe I should put it on the Supra. So the box inside of a box inside of a box is actually pretty nice. They have this like ingrained kind of cubic design that's very reflective. But then we have these two flaps that open up and we're greeted by another box. This one says Bugatti electric scooter, a new work of art created and engineered to deliver a new wave of mobility in a transit revolution. Viva la revolution! Let's open this thing. Before we get into this, we can admire the packaging a little bit more. We have the, I guess, sketch of the electric scooter. Showed the ergonomic grips, a digital dashboard, safety bell. This thing has turn signals, a big front light they can blind people with, reflectors. It folds. You got the big old pole you can fold. It's got mud flaps. Of course, the charging point because it's electric. A kickstand, deck illumination, an ergonomic deck, which I don't know what that means. Safety reflectors in the rear. I'm excited about this one. The hologram illumination and the brake light, which I'm pretty sure is taken like exactly from the Chiron. So this thing should look like a Chiron and a Razor scooter love each other very much. So going in, this actually comes off. So you can keep this and maybe frame it and display it somewhere. That's actually pretty cool. We're going to put this to the side. Nice. Then we get a nice little piece. Oh, I'm teasing you, I'm teasing you. Come look at that. Just the tail end of this thing looks freaking crazy. If I showed you that, you would think Bugatti Chiron. We have the instruction manual, which we're actually going to read. But without further ado, here is my electric Bugatti scooter. So immediately, right when we get into the box, we can see just the attention to detail that Bugatti implemented into this little scooter, which I think is so crazy. The interior of this thing has that same kind of cubic embalment that goes on on the outside of this box, but it's also full styrofoam very thick styrofoam, so I guess they wanted to make sure this thing wouldn't get damaged in transit. But we're gonna open this thing up first. The Bitech for Bugatti electric scooter. I'm guessing this is some sort of manual or might include the charger, but I mean, look how thick this box is. And I believe it's, yes, it's magnetic on the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and we get greeted immediately by the saying again, Work of art created, engineered to deliver a new wave of mobility in a transit revolution. Then we got, I'm guessing, the instruction manual right here. So we got the instruction manual, we'll read that in a second. We have another little card. Thank you for your purchase, I'll read it for you guys. Thank you for your purchase, please contact directly, all the contact things, BugattiScooterNA.com. But I mean, pretty cool, matte black, kind of shiny emblems on there. Then we got, ooh, authentic certificate card 
That is pretty quiet and no idea that came with it. And if you can see, it has the same sort of, the cubic pattern that goes with the rest of the box. I guess that's how you know it's an authentic Bugatti scooter, not some Alibaba knockoff. This is pretty cool. We're not gonna wanna lose this, so we're gonna put this right back where we found it and see what else came in this little thing. I'm guessing this is a little tool to tighten some bolts. It's folded right now, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to use this to tighten a few things. Put this back in here as well. And then what is this? Ah, I see. So this is the charger. We got the charging port, the plug. I guess that's like the big thing that tells you how much charge you have. And we have the wall outlet right there, as you can see. And that's all that comes in this little box. But pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, for a scooter that was this price, I'm pretty pretty happy with how that came packaged. It feels pretty special. It feels like you're taking delivery of a Bugatti. Not that I would know what that feels like, but I mean, for a scooter, that's pretty dang cool. So now that we've seen what's in that little box they gave us, let's go ahead and read the owner's manual. All right, we're good. Now let's assemble this thing. So once we got the scooter out of the box, I just wanted to point something out. To any one of you that might be buying one of these, inside this column, there's this little green plug. And inside of the head of the scooter, there's also a little green plug. So you're gonna have to pull them out, plug them into each other, and match them so before you can put this onto here. So I'll come back when it's all finished. Now that the head's on, there are two holes on both sides of these. We're gonna use the screws that were included in the package with the little screwdriver it gave us. Pop them in the holes and tighten them, and we should be good to go. That's not good. So we just finished installing the screws. I definitely broke this thing on the first screw, but good thing I had an extra set of Allen wrenches laying around. As you can see, these two came in pretty nicely. Then on the back, the top one was good, but the bottom one is like, literally impossible to get in there. I tried with everything and I was like practically bending the Allen screw before I could get it any tighter. So we're just gonna leave it like that and uh, move on with the process of getting this thing up and running. Next, we're gonna perform the power test, make sure everything works, the lights, the turn signals, the braking, the bell. So on here, we got the Bugatti logo once again, power on, got the power button. One press gives the headlights power, Two presses gives the ambient lighting, hologram, light and rear light, and then the M. For there's a first, second, and third gear, I guess. And long press M switches the total mileage and a single tap is regular mileage. So I'm probably gonna keep this just so we can remember what to do first, but here's some ASMR for you guys. It's used now. All right, we're gonna do the, the one press of the power button. Let's see if it even has any juice from straight at the box. So as you can see, this is actually really cool and really high quality for a scooter. It's got the digital dash, baby, miles per hour, and our fuel. Um, I'm not sure how the lights work. We'll do a quick two press. There's the light. This works. Let's check our turn signals. <laughs> That is very cool. Is there another press to turn them off? Look at this one over here. How fancy. Left turn, please. That is super cool. Uh, this is the only way to turn that off. Okay. Oh my God! You see that? Check what happens when I press the brake. That is crazy. We have the Ettore Bugatti water light, and we got the Chiron style tail light lighting up. That is pretty incredible. And there's lights on the sides here too. I don't know if you can see it on your side, but there's one on this side as well. We're gonna do a couple of riding tests of this during the day, and then tonight when the sun goes down, we'll go out and ride it again just to see how bright these bad boys are. So, I guess that's it for the unboxing and installation process of the scooter. Now let's go see what it's like to drive. Before we go out, we're actually gonna plug this thing in. We wanted to see exactly where the charging port was. There's a little rubber flap right under the stock and then you just pull it back and plug it in. And I wonder 
if when there's power going to it, there's some sort of way to tell it's charging. I saw the lights flicker for a brief moment. But I mean, there's nothing up here. Hmm. I'm gonna read the manual, but we'll let this thing charge up for a bit so we can get the full experience when we go outside. All right, y'all, this is the moment of truth. We got it built, we got it charged up a bit. We're outside. Let's get first impressions of riding the Bugatti scooter. Here we go. Baby, we're moving. I'm faster than lightning. Okay, let's see if I can do this and not die. Ooh, that was fun, bro. Oh my goodness. So I only got up to 12 miles an hour on my fast top speed run. This thing can do almost 20. So I'm pretty sure there's a sport mode. So we'll try to unlock that, but I'm gonna race Jordan and her car over to her house. Kind of get the hang of how this thing is. It's, it's pretty easy to ride, but uh, I wanna learn how to extract its full potential out of this bad boy. This thing is quick. This is 18 miles an hour. If I fall right now, I'm pretty much dead. Holy moly. Wanna go for pinks? <laughs> this thing is pretty sweet. I'll get behind you. Well, hey there, Jeremy. Hey. How would you like to ride a Bugatti? Sure. All right, so y'all remember Mr. Jeremy? He's gonna take the Bugatti out on a spin, baby. We don't want to mess up that beautiful Bugatti badge. So try to bring it back in one piece, all right? All right. It's just a simple push, and then you're off. Bye, Jeremy. Here he goes, full speed. Look at him, so graceful, the wind blowing through his hair. I think that was 300. All right, so you brought it back in one piece in comfort mode. Let's go ahead and turn it up to sport mode. Kind of hard to see, but on there we are in mode number three. The full 18 miles an hour has been unlocked. Do you think you can handle it? Possible. I like the enthusiasm. Go ahead and give her a rip, tater chip. Don't lift, just hold her down. Here he goes, full speed. And he's gone. So we traded Jordan, we traded Jeremy for Jordan. Do you think you can handle the power of the Bugatti scooter? No. Well, let's hope you can. Cause I don't got insurance. Adios, compadre. And away. Jordan's filled with confidence today. She rode around the block one time, went ahead, bumped it up to sport mode. All right, give it a rip around the whole block and get used to it. I'm gonna lose my Bugatti scooter on day one, man. Tragic. Oh my God, she's coming back full speed. Oh no! Jordan. And he didn't crack your screen. Oh look, my wallet. And that's how you stop Jordan. <laughs> I've got an idea. Come closer. So the Bugatti is one of the fastest cars, period. And it goes around the Nürburgring over there in Germany. I wonder how fast this Bugatti can go around the neighborhood ring. Let's see, get out your timer. All right, Jordan's got the timer. We're gonna go, this line is gonna be the starting line right here. How fast can we go around the neighbor ring? Three, two, one. And 
Let's see, my time, one minute and 56 seconds. Not too bad. I think if we had some uh, 355s on this bad boy, just like the, the Chirons do, then we might have a little bit better of a time rather than these, well, I guess, fives. But I mean, I had a great time. It felt pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. 18 miles an hour on one of these things, it gets kind of sketchy and it breaks like that so i mean i guess that's good so you don't flip off like jordan almost did <laughs> but we'll wait till the sun goes down a little bit more i'll show you some of the lighting features and i just really want to see the little watermark of bugatti behind there at night so see you when the sun goes down <laughs> mama on the go uh -oh. there you go <laughs> here she comes for a flyby I knew I'd be able to buy a Bugatti and share it with my family someday. It's truly, truly an amazing day. Welcome to night in Houston, Texas. So we're gonna talk about the nighttime features of the Bugatti scooter. But before we do that, I just wanna let you know, as we're filming this right now, we're finishing up the photos for our merch drop on the website, which I have on right now. And we're gonna do something special for you guys because the drop is live right now. And for those of you that, uh, that are interested and want to cop the merch, but maybe you don't have enough money to get everything, we're gonna give it all away to one of you guys out there. All you have to do is become a member of the channel in the next 24 hours. Uh, you can be any tier member you'd like, and we're gonna select from the members Kind of show my appreciation back to you guys that support me through that way there should be a blue join button underneath this video somewhere click that select the level of membership you'd like to become to the channel and then who knows we could be messaging you in the next 24 hours to get you the entire sinclair photos summer of the supra merch drop which includes a t-shirt what i'm wearing right now a sweatshirt and a hoodie Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get back to the Bugatti scooter. All right, let's see what this thing has as far as the lights go. I'm pretty sure we double click. Yeah, we have the light on the wall there. Pretty good. We'll see how far it can take us when we go outside. And I'm pretty sure if we do it again. Yep, there we go. Let me move outside for you guys to see this. We have <laughs> the Bugatti water light. I'm pretty sure that's called as well as side lights of the scooter that kind of are like the illumination in your door sill when you get out of your Bugatti. But I mean, that <laughs> that light on the back is next level. I didn't think, I don't even have that on the Supra and they included that on the Bugatti scooter. Now we got the brakes, which makes all the lights just a little bit brighter. And then we also have our turn signals. So if we press the two buttons right here, this one gonna be, or this left one with the lighting up of the turn signal here and down here click it again to stop it and then on the other side same thing as well that is so crazy let's test them out let's go for a night ride can you see me coming Pretty cool if I do say so myself. And Jordan has to ring the bell. Nice. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get one of these Bugatti scooters, they cost about $1,200 straight from the Bugatti Scooter NA website. But I actually couldn't buy mine there. The website was like taken down for some reason or the loading page for an actual scooter wouldn't load. So I got it from a place called HSN. I'll leave a link to the product in the description below if you guys wanna get one and tell me how you guys like it. That'd be super, super cool. Um, they come in this Bugatti blue. They come in a silver and they come in a black. I was thinking about getting the black, but there's just something about Bugatti blue you got to get it. I really, really like it. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the whole review, unboxing, and I can't wait to do 
many more shenanigans with my Bugatti scooter. Mr. GG Exotics, I'm calling you out, man. I think this thing's got enough horses under the, I don't know, the battery pack that it can beat your shear on. I'll bring it up to Dallas, free of charge for us to do a race. Let me know what you guys want to see next with the Bugatti scooter in the comments section below. But until next time, if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.